with me today as I learn how to use an indigo dye kit with friends. I've never used an indigo dye kit. <laughs> I've done some dyeing, like with dye from Dharma Trading or those writ bottles where you, you know, get some black to over dye your black jeans to make them last longer. But indigo dyeing is different. I didn't know how it was different. I just knew it was different and learning is better with friends, right? And I don't know about you, but I love doing something I've never done before. There's something about the awe and wonder of being a bumbling idiot that is just so joyful to me. No sarcasm, I swear. I really actually do love it. So if you haven't done indigo dyeing before, come along with us as we work it out together. My friend Rebecca picked up indigo kits from Artists and Craftsman Supply, or you can pick them up from Dharma Trading Online. Um, I'll link that in the notes below. But um, a couple people in our group had done indigo dyeing before, but everyone was fairly new to it, so it was kind of a great experience to work it all out together. Nobody was truly like an expert, so it was kind of, it was, I don't know, made it fun for everyone. Uh, here's Monica filling up a tub with plain water. We used one tub as a pre-soaked tub because fabric needs to be wet when it enters the dye bath. Other tubs are filled with hot water. And then in the hot water, we put the dye kits in according to the directions on the box. We even had the best of intentions and started off wearing the gloves in the kits, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really last. Dye sort of gets everywhere in this process. <laughs> We put the dye kits in and covered the tubs and they set the timers for each bath to sort of, you know, set up for 15 minutes. Then you scooch the dye bubbles over. Kind of after the 15 minutes, there's this sort of oily, filmy, bubbly thing on top and you scooch them over and you slowly lay your fabric in the dye bath. Slowly. The main thing I learned about indigo dyeing is that oxygen is everything. It's your helper and your enemy. Uh, you must slowly lay your fabric in the dye bath so you don't introduce oxygen into the dye bath. After five to 10 minutes or so of gently swirling and thoroughly soaking your fabric in the dye, you pull the fabric out low to the water and gently squeeze out the water. So again, you're not introducing oxygen into the dye bath. And here's why. The fabric comes out of the dye bath green. The first dip on white is positively chartreuse, like lime. There's this moment of panic if you're a new person like me. It's like, why is it green? We did it wrong. Oh. Um, but then you watch the fabric as it gets oxygen and it turns blue. It's truly magical. You hang it up like the shirt that Monica brought and then it turns this light blue. Then the more dips you get, it just gets a richer, deeper blue. As soon as the fabric is oxygenated and blue, you can right away dip it again and repeat until you get your desired depth of blue. This in again, out again, hanging to air rate and all that is why I say it just sort of gets everywhere. You're not really going to have a clean dying experience. I highly recommend having beverages, laughing a lot until it gets too dark to see what you're doing and having a friend like Marnie who bikes over with a homemade tomato tart from her garden tomatoes. I also recommend lots of dog love and pets. I'm personally allergic to dogs, so can't have one of my own, but Renny knows be damned. I will love on my friend's dogs. We had, I forget now, I think four dye tubs going at one point. Biddy brought a gumby green fabric to give it more depth and interest with clothespins and an over dye in the bath. There was a waffle knit bathrobe that went in at one point, um, a sage green piece of linen that got an over dye. I played it safe, being this is my first time, and picked up some kind of white cotton linen blend and just dyed it as is. No fancy tying or anything. I'm not a big tie-dye person, but I do love the depth and texture a dye gives. Maybe next time I'll try something geometric. I did find some white denim in my stash that I'm kind of eyeing. <laughs> um, I dyed three yards total. I got one max skirt and part of a hack dye own shirt out of the three yards. You can see the subtle texture and depth to the color. Monica described it as almost suede looking in texture. I like that. That's kind of a neat, yeah, description. It's a perfect description. It just has a suede kind of texture to the depth of color. This is after three dips. I think I'd like to double that amount next time. See how deep I can really get it. So that's it. I'll link stuff in the notes below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. 